Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here from photographyontheside.com, and this is the free online course Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with SmugMug in 90 Minutes. In this step, we're going to upload a few more galleries and then create our portfolio gallery. So, to upload more galleries in the same folder, which is what I'm going to do all under this Client Galleries folder, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that I'm highlighted in the cl Client Galleries before hitting the Create uh, Gallery link and then the title of this one this next one is going to be Brittany and Mark so I'm going to go ahead and type that in I'm going to leave um, all this the same now instead of having to go through and adjusting individual um, settings and possibly missing something now I can just go straight into the quick settings and I can apply the quick setting that we saved in the last step um, under client settings. So I'm going to go do that and it tells me what's changed. We've got the back printing, we've turned off the, the camera info, we've got a one day proof delay, we've got the right click protection on, and we're sorting our photos by the date taken. So um, that looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and create that gallery and there it is there. I'm going to double click into it and then I'm going to make sure I get some photos in there. So again, go find your, uh, your images. I've got them all right here. I use the command a uh, to select all of them or alt a if you're on a pc and just drag and drop them in okay so i'm going to press pause here and um, i'm going to go ahead and get these photos uploading and then i'm going to create uh, a few more galleries and upload more photos using the exact same uh, process um, and then i'm going to have a bunch of galleries to be able to to pick the best of the best to go into my portfolio gallery so i'd recommend now this would be a good time for you to to go ahead and upload your site with a few galleries it doesn't have to be um, you know a hundred galleries just for now start with uh, three or four just to have a, a good sampling to be able to get a um, a portfolio gallery started because your portfolio gallery is uh, an important page plus it's uh, what we're going to use for the home page slideshow so um, go ahead and, and get some some galleries and some photos going I'm gonna go go do my five of them here, and then I'll I'll um, and I'll press pause, and I'll come back when those are all uploaded. All right, see you in a second. Okay, great. I've got I've now got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six galleries uploaded to my SmugMug site, and now I'm ready to create our portfolio gallery. So I'm gonna go click into the root directory folder and I'm going to go create a gallery and this one I'm going to call portfolio and I'm going to go ahead and apply the quick settings for clients because a lot of the uh, the settings are going to be the same but one uh, one setting is definitely going to be uh, need to be changed for the portfolio gallery so if you go back to shopping um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the shopping cart off and the reason I do that is because the portfolio gallery is not meant for people to go buy photos, at least on a portrait wedding site, it probably shouldn't be. Um, the por portfolio is used for marketing. It's for new visitors to my site, um, showing them my best photos so that they can uh, hopefully get in touch with me or want to get in touch with me to uh, set up a, uh, a gig, a job. So that's the point of it. So I don't want a, a buy button on my portfolio gallery. I do want the buy button on my client gallery so that's uh, something I'm gonna change so I've done that there I'm gonna hit create and there's my portfolio gallery now the way we're gonna uh, populate the, the portfolio you can do this a couple of ways if you have the photos you know your favorite photos already in a folder somewhere you can just go ahead and drag and drop um, your photos uh, into your portfolio gallery very similar to how we did the other galleries but um, uh, kind of a a more elegant way to do it would be to um, go ahead and go into your client galleries and go through each gallery and find your favorite photos so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one here that's a nice photo and I, I go down here and I hit the share button and collect and now I can say where do I want to collect this. So basically what's happening here is I'm using the collect tool in SmugMug to create a virtual copy of this photo and I'm going to put that virtual copy in the portfolio gallery. So when I click done, um, that photo, a copy of that photo has been sent to um, my portfolio gallery. So now I can uh, scroll through using the left and right tabs here or left and right arrow buttons 
to find my favorite photos of this shoot. And let me just find another one here. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Ah, oh, that one. Uh, and I click the share button again and press collect. And I hit the portfolio uh, gallery. So now I'm done. So you want to do this with all of your photos and all of your galleries. Find your favorite ones and put it into um, uh, the portfolio gallery. You definitely want to do this on, um, you know, you probably want. I'm going to guess 20, 30, 40 photos, something like that. Definitely give a sense, you know, think about prospective buyers and, and giving them the best shots, give them a sense of, of what you can do and, um, you know, change it up, get some portrait, some landscape uh, orientation, get some color, some black and white. And so this page is just going to look just amazing when it's all done. <clears throat> so go ahead and, um, and find those photos, click the share button, click collect and keep doing that until um, you're satisfied you've got enough uh, photos in your portfolio gallery. I'm going to I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to press pause and then come back when I'm uh, finished all of that. Okay, so I'm finished picking my photos and um, you know, I don't know how many I've got in here. It looks like 52. Okay, so 52. Um, doesn't have to be that many, but that's how many I've got. Um, obviously they're all organized right now based on the gallery that they were chosen from and I don't really want it to be organized like that I want it to uh, I want to manually move things around so that I can have the the best images be the first images and it's going to be obviously subjective I'm not going to take a ton of time doing it right now but um, uh, yeah so I want you know some good starting good strong starting images um, you know whatever shows off my talent and my skills the best and I'm gonna definitely mix things around um, with the weddings and the kids and all that stuff and yeah that's all I'm gonna do and then the other thing so make sure your best you know your best 10 are at the beginning after that it doesn't matter as much um, but the other thing you want to do is just kinda mix your images around a bit so that they're not clumped together um, you know one wedding shoot or one photo shoot doesn't um, you know come after each other but so this is just a recommendation you can do kind of whatever you want for your portfolio um, take more time less time on it um, but I'm just gonna kinda organize it the way I want to and then um, and you go ahead and do that and uh, and then we're done uh, creating our portfolio gallery and in the next step I'll show you um, how to um, customize the home page and and uh, customize the rest of your site alright stay tuned